thanks for joining us for Explore Tulsa. This week we start with a trip to Tulsa's Fab Lab. Then we meet a group of tough ladies keeping roller derby alive in Tulsa. The fish are biting and Stevie could be the bait when we visit with the folks from Animal Planet's Hillbilly Hand Fishing. Plus, it's about time to head back to school, so we'll stop in at the new Schusterman Library on the OU Tulsa campus. Hi, I'm Trish Whitmer. And I'm Stevie Fernandez. And we're thrilled to have you with us for this week's Explore Tulsa. Plus remember, all summer long, Video Revolution at 71st and Lewis is working with us to give away a TV a month. This is a really awesome TV too, Stevie, a 40-inch Sony Bravia. And all they have to do is wait for us to tell them which one of our segments is the key for them to register to win that amazing prize. You know, Trish, I bet if you don't win the TV, just about anyone could actually make a TV at Tulsa's Fab Lab. They might, because Tulsa's Fab Lab offers anyone the opportunity to make just about anything. Fab Labs, uh, it's short for Fabrication Laboratory. It originated in 2001 at MIT in Boston uh, out of a grant from the National Science Foundation. And from there, it spread to uh, South Boston and then through serendipity to Ghana, in Africa, Norway, Barcelona, Spain, and rural India. Those are the first five labs, and there's over 100 in the world now. There's about 34 in the United States. Uh, we're the, the only operating lab in Oklahoma, the only, uh, only one in the southern United States. We started planning this in 2008, and um, when we mentioned the, the idea of a fab lab, to somebody three years ago, uh, we got a strange looks. Like you're gonna provide machine tools to kids? Because that's one of our target groups. We want to outreach to education. And um, so we got a lot of crazy looks, but we had a few people that really believed in us and, and provided us some of the capital to get going. And we, we, had, we had responses from all walks of life. You know, artists who wanted to explore new media, inventors who wanted a place to turn their dream into reality. Um, students who wanted a place to work on a school project. So we were, we were drawn to all these, different, these, all these different segments of the community because people have a compelling need to make things. I mean, we've done it I mean, through, through eons of history, stone tools, the telephone, the automobile, the space shuttle, and fab labs. We make things, people make things, and that's, that's why this idea catches on. That's why there's 100 in the world now, and there'll probably be 200 in another 18 months from now. Probably uh, the sexiest piece of equipment we have, and uh, maybe that's an extreme word for engineering, but you know, it turns heads. So that we have a 3D printer, and so that operates a lot like your inkjet printer at home. But instead of printing ink, it prints liquid plastic. We have tools to uh, do milling and casting, uh, a vinyl cutter, a uh, laser cutter, and um, a maker bot. So what all these tools allow you to do is to make almost anything. If you wanted to, if you had a small engine part, say you're a car hobbyist and you have a small engine part, you could come in and you could machine a mold and you could cast a new metal part. Imagine if you didn't go to Target to buy your bicycle or Walmart to buy your bicycle, but you just purchased a design over the internet and then you came to your local neighborhood fab lab and had it built or you built it yourself. So imagine all the things in that, in that economic chain, all the way from the production of raw materials to building the bicycle, to shipping it overseas, to selling it. Imagine all those things that change when you just get the idea and you build it yourself. So it's a, fab labs can have a radical uh, and exciting impact um, on any economy that's willing to explore those ideas. Well, when you get a membership to Fab Lab Tulsa, you primarily get access to the machines. So uh, pretty much anyone at any time can come in and use the, look at the facility, can use some of the, the software tools, can interact with all the people that are here at, at a, a low or no cost. And when you want to access the machines then, you can get a membership. And that, is, that membership is for a certain number of hours. So one of the memberships is $125, gets you 10 hours. So you can come in and use a machine for one hour and you have nine hours left. If you use all 10 hours, you just get another membership. But, um, but in essence, you, you get access to all the people that are here, um, all the crazy ideas they have, um, all the fun that they have, and um, you get a chance to work with the materials and explore new ideas.
Check it out. Made it myself. Definitely looks like you made it yourself, but what is it? It's a demoflage. What does that do? Well, it's going to get me free cable, free internet, and better gas mileage. Does it work? Well, no, not yet, but a few more lessons at Fab Lab, and I'm sure it will. Well, while young Frankenstein figures out his, you know, gadget, next up we'll strap on the skates when we meet some of Tulsa's finest roller derby women. When Explore Tulsa continues. Hey, uh, put your finger right there. <laughs> What is your euphoria? A rejuvenating facial at euphoria. Nova Lash extensions at euphoria. A relaxing massage at euphoria. Euphoria Spawn Salon has 5,000 square feet to make you look and feel beautiful. Hair, nails, facials, massage, eyelash extensions, beachy spa and more. Experience euphoria at Euphoria Spawn Salon, 110th and Memorial. you on the night in question? I was at Video Revolution. They're open till 7, Monday through Friday, 6 on Saturdays, and 5 on Sunday. <laughs> For anyone that can testify the accuracy of your story? Yeah, yeah. All the salespeople were caring and friendly, and they knew everything about home entertainment, all my home entertainment needs, and from, from HD TVs to camcorders and 3D TVs. <laughs> hmm. The evidence all points to Sony, choosing Video Revolution for major growth as an Oklahoma independent retailer. Video Revolution even offers a 30-day lowest price money-back guarantee. The facts are evident, with features and prices you won't find at a big box store. My investigation is proof positive. For the best service before and even after the sale, it would be a crime not to stop by Video Revolution. Tune in each week to Tulsa Wheels and Deals, showcasing the best pre-owned autos in the Tulsa area. Wheels and Deals is presented by U.S. Auto Center, located at 148th and Memorial in Bixby. See a car or truck you like? Give Bobby and the guys at U.S. Auto Center a call for your personal test drive. No pressure sales and great guys to work with. The team at U.S. Auto Center wants to earn your business. Tune in each week to Tulsa Wheels and Deals, right here on KWHV TV 47. It's so nice of you to stay with us for more Explore Tulsa. So Trish, do like this. <laughs> yeah, I thought so. You got a mean streak in you. That would make you a great jammer. A what? A jammer, you know, like in roller derby. I think I'm more of a blocker. A blocker? Really? Yeah, watch me block you out of the shot. started back in uh, 1999 down in Austin and slowly filtered its way out to the rest of the country pretty much. Uh, our team, our league started in March of 2006. So we're coming up on our six year anniversary date. We're pretty excited about that. In 2008 we had to add a second team. We got so many members and a lot of new girls that wanted to play and one team just wasn't enough. So now we have two teams. We've got our All-Stars and we've also got our Thunder Dolls. Um, both of us bout, we usually have double headers um, on the nights we bout, so both of our teams both play on the same night. The way roller derby works is each team has uh, five players on the track at the same time. Um, four of those players are what's called blockers, and one of those players is called the jammer. And the jammer is the one that has the star on her helmet. Um, they, they start off and the blockers all start skating in a pack. Uh, the jammers then take off and make their way through the pack. Um, every time they lap an opposing skater, they score one point. That's how you score points. And you get everything from, you know, stay-at-home moms, students, you know, doctors, attorneys, architects, receptionists, uh, you know, people that work in retail. Um, just, you know, everything you can think of. We all, we all like to play roller derby. I work at the library. Um, I work in outreach services out of the, the downtown library. Um, I go out on the bookmobile, and then I also put together um, books and movies and other materials for people that live in like nursing homes, people that can't get to the, to the library on their own. I'm a stay-at-home mom, so, you know, it's nice to get out of the house and have something outside of the house. 
I mean, I skated in elementary school, but you know, I was a wall hugger then, and I was when I showed up here. But you know, they they really have a good training program, and they teach us everything we need to know. So I was in the military um, right out of high school, and I'm in better cardiovascular shape now than I was then, even though I'm a lot heavier. I mean, this is definitely an outlet. You know, it's it's definitely an outlet. It's a way to just come and like. Whatever happened to you that day, I mean, you have no choice but to kind of leave it at the door, you know, because when you're playing the sport, when you're fully engaged in the drills, you know, you, you have no choice but to, to be totally in the moment and focus on what you're doing. I've made tons of friends, um, lifelong friends, uh, people from 18 to 55 years old. It's, it's just like a whole new lifestyle, pretty much. I think last time I checked, there are over a thousand flat track women's leagues around the world. Um, there's over, I don't know, like over 32,000 roller girls. Um, the numbers are just kind of staggering, really. Something that I, I would like to see, and I think that a lot of uh, the current players would like to see, is I'd like to see it maintain its kind of grassroots integrity. You know, the, the motto of the Women's Flat Track Derby Association, which is the national governing body, is. Um, by the skaters for the skaters. I think it's really important that you know we have control over our own leagues. We we have control over our own sport. Um, you know we make up the rules. We say how it goes. And um, yeah, I just I'd like to see it kind of continue along those lines. The Green Country Roller Girls finished out the season this summer and disbanded recently. But never fear, there's still more roller derby happening in T-Town and you can find it at derbystrong.com. Roller derby's a tough sport, but so is fishing. Well, especially when you're talking about hillbilly hand fishing. That's right, Trish, and the folks from Animal Planet join us next with more Explore Tulsa. Looking for a new home entertainment experience? Well, hi, and welcome to Video Revolution. Tulsa's best in cutting-edge electronics. Professional, highly trained home entertainment experts. Video Revolution's been serving Tulsans for over 25 years. With name brands like Sony, Klipsch, Mitsubishi, Samsung, and so many more. Great selection, price match guarantee, custom installation, expert assistance, equals home entertainment success. See for yourself. The Video Revolution showroom features the largest selection of flat panel TVs in all of Oklahoma. Plus, the latest in 3D entertainment. Highly trained home entertainment experts on hand. Professional delivery, installation, and service after the sale. And the best selection of name brands. Visit us online at videorevolution.com and find out more about everything we have to offer. Video Revolution, located on the northwest corner of 71st and Lewis. Hi, I'm Mike Winkle, Sales Director for Tulsa Truck Works. When you come into Tulsa Truck Works, you'll be instantly thrilled with a complete line of accessories available for your pickup truck. We are Tulsa's best choice for truck accessories, specializing in the brands and professional installation that you can rely upon without fail. Best of all, we install what we sell and can coordinate a complete redo of your truck, van, or SUV. Come see us at 9300 East Broken Air Expressway or call us at 628-6700. Stevie, what are you doing? Shh! I'm really hand fishing. I think I got a bite. While Stevie feeds the fish, let's check in with Animal Planet's Jackson and Jeannie to get a peek at the new season of Hillbilly Hand. I got one! I got one! I'm from uh, southwest Oklahoma, and uh, we grew up grabbing and fishing down there, and we, uh, we got into the show bringing in city slickers from all parts of the country, you know. Uh, we brought them in here totally out of their element. And let me tell you what, it's, it's, uh, there's nothing like seeing a man get bit by a fish the first time. What's that feel like? That's my fear, is it, uh, getting bit by a fish, Jeannie. Is, have you done it? I have. They call it feel the thunder, and if you listen, you can hear it bite underwater. I mean, you can hear it slam down on now your how foot. How far up is it coming right here, all the way up? Oh. My... Yeah, it kind of depends on how big the fish is. Yeah? Yeah. The biggest fish we've ever caught, 111 pounds. Oh my gosh. But, you know, you're going to get to describe it for yourself because <laughs> I'm going to take you this summer. I can't wait, Jackson. And you are going to get bit. Oh my God, yeah. Yeah, focus, focus. Back. I can feel him. 
at the top of my thigh and on my foot. Oh my. So. Now when I watch the show, I see you're sticking your hand in places where you don't get to see what's down there. Right. Well, that's what I'm, I'm saying. We, we can feel by, by touching the bottom and we know where these fish are and we know how it feels when they're making a hole in there to make their nest. And it's, if you've done it your whole life, it's, it's like picking apples off a tree. Really, he catches you, you don't have to catch him. What if he doesn't like my taste? Will he like spit me out or what? They always hang on. <laughs> they, they like it. And they really like first time people. So what's it feel like then, like when you first grab that fish, and you know, what if they told you when they're down there and they're getting one, and, and they feel it bite, and then they want to pull it out, is it? They're like, Jackson, 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 <laughs> let me out of this hole. <laughs> He's like, oh man, it's hurting, it's hurting. Good job! I got him by the head. in that hole. Oh, everybody that's came down and went fishing with us, when they leave, they, they tell us that we've changed their lives and they feel like they can take on anything the world has to offer. And we're in southwest Oklahoma, down there on Red River, uh, Main Cache Creek, which flows into Red River, and it's it's been going on there since the beginning of time. The Comanche Indians, I think, were actually uh, the first people that started, you know, they lived right there every day, in and out, and uh, that was part of their food source. Jackson, 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 okay, Jackson, sit down. No. Dude, you're in the hole. I'm keeping you there, you know? He's like, I hate you, I hate you, man. As you walk around the streets of Tulsa, you see a lot of good hillbilly fishermen out here. Oh, I have seen We've seen a several. bunch tonight, haven't we? <laughs> now, when you did, what makes a good hillbilly fisherman? You know, somebody that's totally out of play I mean just to see their first reaction you know we had a couple of guys that they actually have manicures and pedicures and they're prettier than their wives as that's what they say <laughs> now they these didn't guys have such great manicures and pedicures when they come back out of there yeah. no these guys it was hilarious I mean but they went ahead and they um, they, they come through and they caught fish and they were they were happy that they did but so I'll you fly. teach us some of the lingo too? Are there different terms we need to learn when we go out there so we're ready? Well, we try not to say any cuss words if we <laughs> <laughs> You know, actually, you would make a perfect guy for our show. And I, I want to get a... Uh, I'll give you my car. We'll, we'll, hey, we'll be out there. you got to come go with us, And this us, is man. a rough hand right here. Let me tell you, this one's been bad a few times, I think. You asked me what would make a good guy for you. You're, you're the perfect time. His nose and mouth above water. <coughs> yeah, I'm crazy. Yeah, some Oklahoma lake water. <laughs> Don't change that channel, because we'll be right back. Hillbilly Hand Fishing is into season two on Animal Planet. And you can catch new episodes Tuesday nights at 7. Now, if you really want to grab the big catch, stop in at Video Revolution at 71st and Lewis. Throw a fish on the counter. Ew, or you could just tell the guys at the counter that you saw Hillbilly Hand Fishing on Explore Tulsa. That'll work too. Then you'll be registered to win a 40-inch Sony Bravia TV to be given away August 31st. You can also register online by visiting us at ExploreTulsaChannel.com. Send us an email with all that same information. With school starting up, next let's visit one of Tulsa's newest libraries. A trip to OU Tulsa and the Schusterman Library is just ahead on Explore Tulsa. For a taste of Italy in Tulsa, may we recommend Tiamo. For 20 years, Tulsa diners have come to Tiamo for the very best in authentic Italian and Mediterranean dishes. With a dining room perfectly suited for single diners or groups and an incomparable menu, it's easy to see why Tiamo has been voted best Italian restaurant in Tulsa. Tiamo now with two locations, 61st and Sheridan, and our new downtown location on the northeast corner of 3rd and Cheyenne. Tiamo, fine dining at an affordable price. I better compare other TV prices on my cell phone. Hey, what are you doing there? Oh, uh, I thought I had a text message or something. No worries. At Video Revolution, we encourage our customers to shop around for the best price. We'll even match it. For 28 years, Video Revolution has offered service, features, and prices you won't find in a big box store. You know, you look like Joe Pesci.
There's more than a new look at Guitar House of Tulsa. The new amp room with Gens Benz, Orange, and Mesa Boogie you won't find anywhere else in Tulsa. Expanded guitar and bass sections with Paul Reed Smith, Spectre, Music Man, Ibanez, Jackson, Taylor, Takamini, Alvarez, plus a nice selection of vintage guitars. And Tulsa's exclusive Martin Marquis dealer. Best instructors in Green Country with never a lesson sign-up fee. Ask about their three-month layaways and financing. Guitar House of Tulsa. They'll keep you strumming along. On Admiral East of Sheridan, online at guitarhouseoftulsa.com. Thanks again for sticking around for more Explore Tulsa. Trish, you're still in school, right? Yeah. Where do you feel you get your best studying done? Well, I really enjoy going to the library where it's peaceful and there are a ton of great resources. Makes sense. When I was in school, I loved the library too. Got my best college naps at the library. Oh, well, the Schusterman Library at the OU Tulsa campus has plenty of the latest to everything to keep even you ahead of the class, TV. <laughs> My name is Stuart Brower. I'm the library director here at the Schusterman Library at the OU Tulsa Schusterman Center campus. Um, we're a campus of largely uh, commuter student population made of graduate students from both the Norman programs and the health sciences programs out of Oklahoma City. The Schusterman Library completed construction back in May of 2011. We moved in. One of the nice things about moving into this new building is that we actually now have the entire collection under one roof for the first time in over a decade. On the second floor of this library, you find a series of compact mobile shelves that are on rails. Uh, we were able to condense the collection down into that compact mobile shelving unit, um, put it on the second floor, and still have plenty of space for the students to study. So we were pretty excited about getting everything under one roof. In addition to showing off the OU Tulsa body, we're going to be able to bring in traveling exhibits from around the United States. The gallery itself has five plasma screen monitors that are embedded into the walls. It gives us uh, the digital capacity to basically showcase and exhibit anything that we want. OU Tulsa is an interdisciplinary campus with over 1,700 students in it. Uh, they come from all walks of life and the studies that they are pursuing are from programs graduate programs both out of the Norman campus and the Oklahoma City Health Sciences campus. That means that we have med school students right alongside architecture and urban planning students. We have nursing students right alongside library science students. It makes for a very interdisciplinary campus an opportunity for these various types of programs to interact in a way that they don't get an opportunity elsewhere. We have in fact 24 computer workstations here in the library, more than double what we had in our previous library space. And we're able to make them available to our students and also to visitors to the library. They can access all of the university library resources, which the electronic resources that are held by the University of Oklahoma is considerable. Uh, we're talking in terms of tens of thousands of electronic journals, thousands of electronic books, and many, many databases that are all made available to the student body. In addition to all the electronic access, we have reference librarians who are available to assist with higher level research needs, and we also have the Writing Center embedded into the Commons. So a student can come in and can receive assistance with their research and with their writing, all in one space. It's a reflective space, it's a space for students to quietly pursue their studies, and still a part of the library so we know that we'll be able to provide the support and assistance that they need when they're running into problems. None of this would have been possible without the generosity of the Schusterman Family Foundation. Uh, Lynn and Stacy Schusterman saw fit to make certain that this library was built and provided the resources necessary for us to get that done. Um, it's an amazing gift and we believe it's going to be a gift that keeps on giving to this campus and to the community at large. The Schusterman Library really is an incredible facility. With an endless amount of resources and you can check it out online at library.tulsa.ou.edu. Stick around, there's more Explore Tulsa just ahead. Envision Media Group has teamed up with Video Revolution, Tulsa's leader in electronic sales, service, installation, and repair, to offer the latest advances in video production technology to the Tulsa area. From multi-camera HD production to live web streaming and TV studio production, Envision Media Group provides production services to television stations, sports organizations, corporations, and agencies. 
Envision Media Group's team of professionals has over 50 years of combined broadcast television experience. And thanks to Video Revolution, we now have all the latest toys and capabilities at our fingertips to produce your next project on time and on budget. Envision Media Group and Video Revolution are a powerful team and ready to tackle any video project needs you might have. For more information, visit us online at EnvisionMediaGroup.com. Envision the possibilities. Hi, I'm Josh with Video Revolution, and this is What's New. Today we're going to be talking about Universal Remote Control brand remote controls. They make custom remotes to be able to operate everything from uh, your television to your lights to shades uh, to just changing channels. If you want to create a system that is a one button, one touch operation by means of just simply pressing watch TV. It turns on your television, turns on your surround amplifier, uh, turns on your cable box or your satellite receiver. It'll keep everything customized to your situation and to your room. One of the new features that we've gotten into here is to where we're putting in just a couple local dimmers in your theater room to where whenever you turn on to watch a movie and as it lowers the projection screen down and turns on your projector it'll also dim the lights down. Some of URC's higher end remote controls can also do two-way communication with your thermostats and a lot of other things in the house. So if you you know need to change the temperature and don't want to go to the other end of the house to the thermostat we can get it from any room in the house. This has been Josh with Video Revolution. If you've got any questions about anything we've talked about today please give us a call or come on down to the store. Thanks. Hi, I'm Jamie Harris with Qantas Creative. Did you know that Qantas Creative provides IT services? That's right. We specialize in the full gamut of IT solutions, including structured cabling for data, voice, and video, as well as full network architecture and setup. Our IT services are unmatched because we're a one-stop shop for IT solutions. Is your business ready to take advantage of new opportunities and emerging technologies? Qantas Creative offers IT solutions tailored to your business to save you time and money. We'll work with business owners of any size business, from new ones still working out of their home to businesses with dozens of locations. With more than two decades of experience in IT services, our technicians can offer you outstanding, cost-effective service for all IT applications. Let the Qantas Creative team help you with your IT needs today. Call us at 918 794-2758 or visit us online at QantasCreative.com. That's QantasCreative.com. Remember, stop in at Video Revolution. Tell them you saw Hillbilly Hand Fishing on Explore Tulsa. You'll be registered to win a 40-inch Sony Bravia TV to be given away August 31st. You can also email us your entry by visiting ExploreTulsaChannel.com. Well, that's all the time we have for you on this week's show. So special thanks to Matt Norris and the folks at Fab Lab for giving new ideas a place to be born. Thanks, too, to the Roller Girls of Tulsa for, well, you know, taking it easy on me. And Jackson and Jeannie of Hillbilly Hand Fishing on Animal Planet. Plus, thanks to Stuart Brower and the rest of the folks at the Schusterman Library on the OU Tulsa campus. Remember, if you miss any of the show, you can always catch us online at ExploreTulsaChannel.com. As always, each week we feature the people, places, and attractions that make us proud to call Tulsa our home. Yeah. And don't forget to like us on Facebook. Share with us someone you think Tulsa should know more about. Plus, remember, Explore Tulsa is always brought to you by Video Revolution, located on the northwest corner of 71st and Lewis. If you're looking for home audio, home video, HDTV, or you want to check out the latest in 3D entertainment, please stop by and say hello to Ron and all the guys for your home entertainment needs. And we'll see you next week right here on Explore Tulsa.